Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris and welcome to Lego Mini Reviews, the show where I review a ton of different Lego vintage and new sets right here on the Duck Bricks YouTube channel in a short form format. So I have a ton of Bricklink orders to get through as well as just associated Lego purchases and I figured instead of making a mega video where I go through every single one that's hours long, why not break it up into separate mini reviews? And so in addition to our normal three videos a week schedule, be sure to stay tuned for a mini review dropping every single day where we do not normally have a standard video releasing. I hope you enjoy and let's jump right into our first pick. So this right here may actually be one of my favorite LEGO Adventure sets ever. It was easily one of the cheapest, if not the most cheapest standard retail set, and literally just features a crocodile, a small jungle shrine which opens up to reveal some treasure, and Johnny Thunder on a boat that is just very reminiscent of adventure movies. Even scaled down, this definitely feels like one of the things that you would see in some sort of jungle movie. And honestly, that's all I'm looking for out of LEGO Adventures. Now this took the standard robo piece, recolored it in light blue, and gave us something we haven't really seen as a build on top of the rowboat, turning it into a steam powered boat. You can see you actually have a working steering wheel here, or one that actually spins, a window to look out at the front, you have the steam engine up front, and then a ton of cargo to be carried at the front of the boat. This is just such a good design for a bolt, it really just feels very complete to me, and ever since I saw pictures of the set online, I knew that I definitely wanted to pick this up as one of the quintessential like adventure sets. And so while I would over the years pick up more and more adventure sets that were far larger than this, I never actually got around to getting this set until now. And I'm very, very happy that I did because I just simply love how classic and retro the style of this set is. Over here, we actually have one of the nice unprinted headdress pieces. This is meant to be some sort of altar to one of the main antagonists or jungle creatures that we see later on in one of the larger sets. But this actually does open up to reveal some treasure inside, some more gems. So always good to see a very simple function like that, just using the dark orange pillars, super simple color scheme and design. And of course, you've got the classic bright green Lego crocodile. Now this was just the regular Lego crocodile that we saw across many of the older sets, but it just adds that classic Lego look and feel. And to me, this is a classic, just adventurous Lego playset. It just opens the door to a lot of different possibilities. Where could he be sailing down? What river is he going down? What is a shrine for? Is he crocodile a friend or foe? Just so many different play possibilities in a small set like this. That makes me really appreciate it for what it is. With that, we've summed up this very short mini review of one of my favorite classic tiny Lego Adventurer sets. Nowadays, this probably would take the form of maybe a poly bag, or maybe they would make it a little bit bigger and make it a $10 set, but I honestly kind of miss the era where original Lego themes were getting really small and fun offerings like these, which pack in a lot of story, but also introduce you to the theme and the characters and serve as a jumping off point. The mini Adventurer's boat was something I looked at catalogs when I was a kid and definitely wanted for quite a long time. Not really sure why I never got a chance to get it, presumably because I didn't really get into LEGO until after it was discontinued, but I'm happy to own it now and I'm really glad to actually finally add it to my collection. Let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this mini LEGO Adventure set and what do you think of the Adventurer's theme in general? Is it comparable to the new LEGO Indiana Jones sets releasing next year or do you want to see more original LEGO stuff in the same vein? With that, we've summed up this mini review. Thank you all so much for tuning in and like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Bye for now.